We move on to the poetry category. The committee members were Lydia Kwa, Brent McLean, and Monty Reed. The finalists are Julie Brooke for Monkey Ranch, published by Brick Books. David McGimsey for Lil Bastard, published by Coach House Books. A.F. Moritz for The New Measures, published by House of Anansi Press. Lisa Passold for Any Bright Horse, published by Frontenac House. James Pollock for Sailing to Babylon, published by Abel Muse Press. And the Governor General's Award for Poetry goes to Julie Brooke for Monkey Ranch. Unfortunately, Julie Brooke could not be with us today. But Monkey, Monkey Ranch is published by Brick Books, represented by Sue Sinclair. And Sue will read Julie Brooke's acceptance speech. Bonjour, je suis contente d'être ici pour uh, représenter Julie. I'm happy to be here to represent Julie, and she's asked me to read the following. A few weeks ago, I listened to the poetry nominees read at Montreal's Atwater Library. Not a moment of dead air all evening. I felt so honored to be among them that if my particular journey had ended there, well, my cup was full. It will take a levy to contain my joy today, but I didn't get here alone. My work has been nurtured by a country that treats the arts as a valued natural resource. My American friends are dumbfounded by the range of Canadian talent they see in all the arts, both within and beyond Canada's borders. What they can't see is the vital role played by the Canada Council and other arts organizations who champion not only artists, but the infrastructures that bring their work to audiences. Monkey Wrench wouldn't be here without Brick Books. Its editors, general manager, gifted designers, production staff, and distribution networks. All the people who finessed this book into being and into the hands of readers. It is also a result of the small magazines and journals that recognize young and not so young writers and give their work an audience. Most of us know how fragile our systems of support for the arts have become. Let's make sure that the next generation receives the kinds of opportunities I've had. Let's watch them outdo us in fine Darwinian style. Personally, I'll be happy to eat their dust. Meanwhile, I'm thrilled and humbled to receive this honor. So says Julie. Canada treats art as a natural resource. What a great message. 